Yo guys, welcome back to another video with your one and only Cardi Rosa bitch ass. And so finally I started doing my CRA and my Heart Magnus. Unfortunately, I don't have a Heart Magnus recording because I did not end up getting a Tyrant Cape. Unfortunate, you know, bad luck of the draw, but uh, I need to start doing Critias quest line so I can get a Magnus re-entry ticket. So, um, let's see, still epic, which is kind of shit. Uh, pretty bad luck so far, but, um, okay, there you go, got unique. Um, so, one thing I do have to say is I want to give a shout out to Soul Thief again, because, like, he already has all his pieces for CRA, he doesn't need it, but he does it because he's a selfless guy and you know he gives a fuck about other people unlike me <sighs> I remember when I used to be a youngin little fucking baby Rosa like to share and shit but no Cardi Rosa's fucking selfish which I'll admit it I'm, I'm pretty selfish these days when it comes to Maple Story um, you know I used to be super open with carrying people for bosses they need but I'm kinda like Nah, bro! It's my shit! Get your own! So, <laughs> it's mine! But yeah, um. Yeah, I need to start acting like that again, cuz. You know. Nah, I don't know. Fuck it. <laughs> Anyways, um, so in total for this video. In pure cubes, I used up about 3.5 to 3.6 bill. I know I don't have that meso in my inventory currently, but uh, I have 700 mil more on my Kana, so used all that shit up. And I would honestly have to say this cubing session was pretty below average luck. Could have been a lot better, to be honest, but. Um, the, the big problem was once I tiered up, it took a while to get the stat I wanted. And you guys will see that later. Um, so I should be going to a Chaos Vellum carry on Saturday or possibly Sunday. And from what I am told, Chaos Vellum drops like 15 pieces in one run. Which I, I didn't know, but yeah, 15 pieces, that's a lot. That's a weapon to run. So, if that happens, then I'll have all fucking... I'll have pretty much all the weapon pieces. I mean, all the set effect for CRA, and I'll be fucking doing crazy-ass fucking damage. Go all fucking vato and shit. Um... So after this, I'm probably gonna farm more mesos because yeah, I need to make more keeping videos for you guys, and it's really, really fucking boring. I don't think you guys understand like <laughs> farming three bill in four days. It's just fucking grueling. Fortunately, um. There's this thing where I kind of make it a little less brain demanding. Uh, if you guys don't know, uh, I, I might have been the first person to make it up. But if you guys ever played a Nightwalker before, if you press jump and quintuple throw at the same time, you could jump attack. You could do the same thing for mana balance and Tengu strike if you guys didn't know. Um, if you press it at the same time, you could use Tango Strike constantly and you recover mana. So you could actually use Tango Strike in the same spot without like, you know, without using your brain, I guess. You just kind of like mind-numbingly just use Tango Strike for a while until your 100 attacks is up and you just move like just a little bit and just Tango Strike again till fucking you run out of mana pretty much. Which, it, it's really fucking useful, like, I, once I figured that out, like, 
farming mesos just became so much easier and yeah it's pretty great um, <clears throat> oh yeah I think somewhere around here you guys will see in the next bit where I don't know if it just passed but um, I queued over 18% luck and I was just like what the fuck it's not end game but like for now it would have been fucking awesome um, so I'm just like okay you know what maybe I'll get 18% 18% luck plus again, and if I happen to get 30% luck after, then I'll be fucking happy. Um, unfortunately, that doesn't happen, but uh, you guys see what my end result is. So you guys, <laughs> look how much fucking red cubes I got. I'm like, bro, there's no fucking way I'm gonna fuck this up. But you guys will see. Um, so yeah, at the moment I just need to uh, farm enough gold coins in order to get superior set going and Tyrant Cape, farm Magnus coins, Star Critias. I don't know if I'll have the patience for a Tyrant Glove to be honest. Because I believe it takes like over a year in order to get Tyrant Gloves and I don't know if I have that kind of patience. I can but like I got real life going on now so you know. Anyways if you guys see Soul Thief. Give him a fame, he fucking deserves that shit, so... Uh, that aside... Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, there's more cube videos coming soon. So look forward to it. Alright guys, peace.